The wise king. King Solomon loved God very much. God spoke to him in a dream. Ask for anything you want, God said. King Solomon answered, Give me wisdom that I will know the difference between right and wrong. God was pleased with Solomon's answer. I will give wisdom to you, God said. I will also give you riches and honor. King Solomon was wiser than any other person. He spoke 3,000 proverbs or wise sayings and wrote over a thousand songs. He knew many things about plants and animals. King Solomon was famous. People from all over the world came to see him. The Queen of Sheba came from far away to ask him questions. King Solomon answered all her questions. Then the Queen said, You truly are a wise king. May the Lord your God be praised. King Solomon ordered thousands of workers to build a temple for God. And when the temple was finished, it was beautiful. King Solomon planned a celebration. All the people of Israel came to see the temple. They were happy to have a new place to worship. They all said, God is good. His love lasts forever. Hi little fish and explorers, it's really good to see you again this morning. This month we're going to be learning about people in the Bible who were wise, who were strong, who had a good relationship with God and who also had good friendships with others. Today we're going to be learning about someone who was wise, someone who was made very clever by God. Solomon was the son of King David. He loved God very much and one day was told by God that he could ask for anything he wanted. Solomon decided to ask God for wisdom, to be very clever and to know the difference between right and wrong. Because he asked God for wisdom, God was really pleased and blessed Solomon with money and honour as well. Solomon used his wisdom to build a temple where people could go to worship God. He could have asked God for literally anything, but he chose to ask God for wisdom. What would you have asked God for? Maybe today you could ask God to show you something about him. Hi Coastal Kids. This week we are thinking about wisdom. Wisdom is kind of getting clever through God, where we get God's understanding on a situation. And we're thinking about this and we're thinking, imagine if you could ask for God for anything at all, what would you ask for? Maybe you would ask for a particular toy or present. Uh, maybe you would ask for a particular item of clothing. Maybe you'd want a special experience or to go somewhere special on holiday, or maybe you'd like to meet somebody famous. The actor Jim Carrey said he wished everybody could become famous and rich, and then they would realise it doesn't make you happy. And Solomon, he had this opportunity where God said to him, ask me for anything you want and I'll give it to you. And he could have asked to be the most famous king in all the land. He could have asked to be the richest king in all of the world, but he asked for something else. He asked God to make him wise. He asked God to help him so that he would know what was right and what was wrong, so that he could be a really good king for the people. And we can all have that sense of wisdom because we have the Holy Spirit. And if we ask the Holy Spirit, he will show us what is good and what is bad. He will show us a little bit of what God is thinking. So maybe for you today, you might want to say to God, Lord, by your Holy Spirit, show me your plans and your ideas for my life today. Why don't you try that today? Let's pray. Dear Lord Jesus, we thank you that you help us to get clever through 
all the things that you know and you help us to to get your understanding on situations help us to get to know your plan and purpose for our lives today in jesus name amen Thank you.